Whenever there is a grow, there is a need for energy, power, raw materials, and infrastructure, helping to meet those needs in a world itself. It is the world of Mammoth. In this world, is there a purpose to live, transport, install, and decommission big objects so that customers can grow and maintain their production, capacities, and infrastructures in the safest and most efficient way possible? That's what Mama is all about. Welcome to Back Machinery and Technology Channel. Today we will see how the Mammoth company transports and installs Mega Jack weighing thousands of tons. The initial phase of the operation was the loadout of the 12,733-ton jackets. Mammoth's trend jacket system was used due to the structure massive size measuring 131 meter in length. Seven meter in breadth and 56 meter in height, the jacket was built with a launch truss and skid beams using breakout jacks to initiate moving from the assembly position. Strand jacks and winches that began the main pulling operation. The loadout barge was equipped with external high-capacity submersible ballast pumps, which were synchronized with the barge's internal pumpkin system. The internal ballast system was the used for the ballasting with the mammoth monitoring and controlling these operations from the barge's bridge. Hundred meter tall vertical flare stack for the module stop site needed a flare tip, so installation of this two ton module was performed by Mahmoud's Canby team using a tailor's made gantry system. This was completed while the structure was still on the shore. As for the deck of the living quarters, module is needed to be transported 450 meters on site, so that is a could be integrated with a top side. Self-propelled modular transporter consists of modules with 4, 5, 6 and 8 axle lines. Load capacity differs per version, with a maximum of up to 44 tons per axle line. Each module can be fitted with its own engine control system. The modules can be connected side by side and head to tail to form large performs on wheels. SPMTs have the possibility of 360 degrees steering of the wheels. This allows carousel and sideway movements. Their deck height can hydraulically be adjusted at approximately 60 cm, enabling vertical lifting or lowering of the load. Due to their variety of the combination, SPMTs can lift and move virtually ever heavy load. These trailers are mainly used for one-side transportation over limited distances.
To better understand the transport capabilities of SPMT, let's see then shipping the furnace modules. The largest furnace model measure approximately 190 feet long, 140 feet wide and 170 feet tall and weight over 8,500 tons. This is almost the height of the Statue of Liberty while weighing over 40 times her weight. The use of the innovative split-spin travels was crucial in getting the furnace modules from point A to point B. 7 miles heavy all rate using spin during the planning phase Mammoth was asked to supply up to 800 azole lines of SPMT. However, at operational peak the team utilized almost double than 1,578 exo lines of the SPMT to ensure continuous delivery of modules to site by Pauling Global. Once the module was in a position to climbing jacks lifted it in the SPMT were driven away from the beneath the load. New supports were then installed up to of the SPMT after the living quarters deck was jacked by the climbing jacks. Finally, the Mega Jack system comprising 4 Mega Jack 5200 towers each, with a capacity of 5200 tons, were used to lift the load to a final height of 40 meters. The Mega Jack uses a low feed in the system. Its jacking beams are inserted one by one by operations of the ground, reducing the need of work and height. A skinning system was installed on top of the Mega Jack towers that would allow the module to be maneuvered in the place it was then skid a distance of 80 meters into position. The experience of the Mammoth Specialist offshore team enabled a successful skidding operation. Finally, the living quarters deck was safely integrated with a topside. Mammoth's efficiency has enabled both the jack up and the skidding operations to be completed in just a single day. This complete topside structure needed to be jacked up so that its deck support frame could be installed. Mammoth used the Mega Jack 5200 for a second time jacking up the structure, up to a high of the over 18.6 meters again over the course of one day with all of the models integrated Mammoth weight the whole structure using 32 high accuracy load cells. The combined topside weight was now over 14,000 tons. The Megajack's modular design means there is no limit to the weight, it can widestand to lift more than and must simply add more towers.
During the project final phase, new measures were also implemented so that the operation could still be performed safely. Hydraulic skinning equipment was installed underneath the top side followed by the strand jacks. Breakout jacks were then used to move the top side from its initial position before the strand jacks and winches began the main pulling operation. Mahmoud was able to reuse some of the customized equipment that had earlier abetted out of the jack as a minimal alternative were required and a similar ballast arrangement could be used this made the project more. Efficient the entire operation was completed successfully with a zero accidents or incidents. The field developed project is expected to produce up to 1.5 billion cubic meters of gas and over 0.5 million barrels of condensate per year. Helping Vietnam become more energy independent and transition to the cleaner, more suitable, smarter and more powerful energy resource.